Okay, why did it just play the sound of a single footstep followed by some sobbing? At least I think that's what I heard. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Error. As the title implies, it is just Portal, but it's meant to be sort of a glitched version. And how that'll actually present, well, who knows. This mod has come heavily requested for a very long time, and even though I'm only now getting around to it, I've been interested since the very first time it was suggested. Actually, it, it sort of reminds me almost of those sort of creepypasta ROM hacks of old NES games and such, but being brought into the modern day, or, well, pretty close to it, it's so weird to see it being done for games I actually remember playing. Then again, I suppose nostalgia is actually a big part of what makes those ROM hacks, and, and creepypastas in general, so appealing. It's the feeling of coming back and finding some childhood memory not like how you left it. Uh, but let's be real, Portal always had that creepy feeling just beneath the surface. Ugh. Okay, I might be a little bit jumpy right from the get-go. But yeah, so far this seems to be more or less the Portal I remember. Although that song playing over the radio is not quite as uh, joyful. All right, I need to uh, I need to adjust my mouse DPI because that is absurdly sensitive. All right, let's go. Uh, now I remember the very first time I played Portal. I had just gotten out of middle school. It was a dark and rainy Friday afternoon, just how I like it, and. I went after school to Blockbuster with my mom and rented the orange box for Xbox 360. And I just spent all night playing this thing. It was so cool. And yet, I was also a little creeped out by it. I mean, it just had this, like, sterile feel to it. And the camera's always... watching you. And those observation windows up above with no one in them. Although, unlike before, it seems like the lights aren't even on to begin with. And something I'm only now realizing, we haven't heard a word from GLaDOS. Like, look, it was creepy before. You always got the sense that uh, this wasn't going to work out in your favor in Portal, that you were being tested for reasons beyond what they were telling you. But right now, I almost feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Or like the people that put me here aren't present anymore. I, wait, hang on, listen, listen, listen. For just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... I just, like, briefly heard, like, a faint singing. She's watching you! Did that not really happen? Did I even enter the test chamber at all? Okay, we're starting with the we're starting with the weirdness much earlier than well, much earlier than the base game did. The base game didn't become a horror game until the final hour. Okay, well, at least we can gain some agency over our own fate once we grab this portal gun. Just gotta wait for it to rotate and go over here. Although now we know that these portals can be tricky, can take us to places we don't expect. And you know those cameras are so much more unnerving. 
without a voice to go with them. Thank you! Now is not the time to hear that distant singing. Oh, I can't see a thing. Here we go. Oh, this whole thing just feels so hostile and it, it seems like this elevator takes just a little bit too long to get going. Forget the lighting. Portal without GLaDOS is so much creepier. Can I still get rid of you guys? Yep, we can We can still at least... Uh... Yeah, this test chamber seems to be the same as before. Like, the layout is the same. Just a different atmosphere. I really feel like these things take just a few seconds longer to get going. And in that few seconds, no matter how many times it does it, I'm always thinking, what if these doors close and then it just never moves again? I guess we can't use you as a weight. In that last test chamber, the way we got so used to the rhythmic opening and closing of the portals and then just silence following a crash. Okay, so uh, how did we do this? Uh, we want to... Well, I just felt my stomach drop. You stop looking. So what do I do then? Probably don't want to jump down there, right? And what if we watch somebody fall? Am I just going to have to, knowing that uh, these things on my legs make it so that I don't take fall damage? Is there maybe something else I can do? Is there literally anything I can try before that? I suppose that's what we do. Chase it down. We... We're in the observation room! And, oh, there's no glass on here. The fog abruptly cutting off right here made it seem like there was. Okay. Well, here it is on the ground anyway. That's a corpse! That is a straight up corpse! Another test subject. And that elevator's not letting us through. Where's this fog coming from? Uh, okay, so down there... A cube, right? On oh, a chair. I guess it was used to knock the window out? Right, let's put you down here. And, uh... You over there. And we out. You know, the last time I was actually in these opening test chambers was when I recorded the, uh, the Wire Source Games Creepy video all those years ago. So coming back to it now, <laughs> not being able to help but be reminded of it in that context, it's a bit of an eerie feeling. Seems like the times we're in the most light is actually when we're just in the elevator. Although, now that I think about it, where that light actually comes from, considering it's completely enclosed, I don't know. And maybe it's a projection from the light on the ceiling to give the impression of movement. Okay, well, this one looks fairly like I remember. What is that? What was that? Was it? I don't like this. I heard something. No. 
No. No. No! No! Come on, open, 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 open! Just eyes on the floor! Eyes on the floor! Okay, well that was real, just primal panic. And then everything works as it should. Makes me wonder if the error is with <laughs> this place or myself. one as well. There we are. And now we have to use... Oh, well, I could have timed that better, but yep! Ow. Uh, almost made it, too. Alright, just wait for you to come back around. I said come back around, thank you. And there we go. Wait. There's someone there! There's a silhouette in that window, yes! At first you were... you were... backed by the door and I couldn't see you, but there's definitely... Uh, somehow having actual humans watching you is even creepier than GLaDOS. And especially since they're not speaking to us at all. Oh man, there's a concept for a portal for you. Imagine Shell wakes up and it's not overtaken by a hostile AI, it's just abandoned and haunted. Hi, my name's Chris, how are you? Oh wait, science. Uh, when the portal appears... Wait, there we go. When the portal appears, will this stuff remain? I guess it will. Okay, so I forget how we do this. Oh, right, you're gonna bounce off that wall, and then you're gonna come back and we can do this. Thank you. And then we can go like that, and, and once again, I realize a little too late and missed the boat over here. I just sworn I just heard something behind me, but that might have just been the slurping of the water below. I, I'm so happy to finally be playing this. I mean, you guys have been telling me about it. I just realized there's a body drifting just beneath the pool. Yeah, I'm so excited to finally be doing this. I've put it off for so long just because so many things keep getting in the way, but... I mean, at a certain point, you just can't go wrong with the source mods, can you? Nightmare House, Underhell... Midgard, and, uh, what was that other one called? What does that say? Complete the test. Oh, right, and, uh, Feralis Obscurum. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's a body hanging on the pane. Were you there before? I honestly wasn't paying attention. Okay, drop down. Yeah, boop. I will stop the elevator. Well, then I'm not going to get on it. Why would I? That's... Oh, I see. Those sparks don't inspire confidence that I should be climbing under it, though. Down we go, down we go, down we go! Okay, so someone is communicating with us, but who? 
Or maybe, I mean, I'm really starting to doubt if our own character's perceptions can be trusted. I mean, these weird, bizarre things will happen, and then it's just like it never did. Something else is written up there. Uh, this is where we... Oh, she's watching you. And here, she's cleverly placed these cameras on metal, so I can't remove them. I could have sworn I saw movement up there. Could have just been the way I was moving relative to the glass, but... Uh... Okay, yep. Yep! I just want to see if there's not... Like, if I landed here with a portal, would I be able to launch myself farther? But it's so hard to see in the dark up there. Howdy, folks. I'm just gonna... Uh, hey, he even got the door for me, thanks. Uh, okay, where do we place this? Uh -huh. Oop. And we need you to move forward now. You guys ever get the feeling you're being watched? Now they seem to have taken particular interest in what I do in this chamber. You're actually kind of blocking my path. Let me just uh, use your head here. Thank you. If I had a portal gun, I would break my neck in like five seconds. Get the gun. Ah, uh, here's where we unlock our true power. Yep. And then we push the button. And then we can do that. And there you go. Okay. And someone else got a bad spawn here. We need you on the opposite wall from where that is. Do it! Yes! And there's you. Come on, timing. Thank you! I remember the first time I played this, how intimidating this room felt compared to the previous puzzles, but how worth it the reward seemed. Look at that. I don't like that. And from now on, I'm really going to have to remember to keep checking these windows. You know what I'm dreading right now? I'm dreading what this game's take on the turrets is going to be. Keep going? Yeah, well, it's not like I have a choice. Now, these test chambers are fairly linear. We haven't really gotten an explanation for what that thing we heard in the dark was. I mean, I've been thinking about that this entire time. Like, maybe it was just a one-off hallucination, but I don't know. I feel like there are multiple entities trying to contact us. Alright, uh, I... Oh, I see. Yep. And then... Yep. And then... Yep. Uh, and now what? There's gonna be a box up there. We're getting into the angled antics now. Uh... Whoop. And we'll grab you. You don't drop another one on my head now. And, uh, yep. You know, no matter how many times it's clearly shown to me that you don't take fall damage in this game, I'll never stop thinking that I will. Now, those crazy jumps in this, even though they're fun, feel so wrong. I will get you out of here. 
Just like you got all those other people out. Now in the original Portal, it was super creepy, the concept of the Rat Man. That thing that you would get hints of throughout the game. That there's someone else living just in the periphery of all this. Which is not only just like a creepy ghost story for this already sort of unnerving space, but... You know, it, it also suggests that this place is in fact abandoned even before it's set in stone. I mean, how could someone do that otherwise? We need to... I think you're gonna blow up before you get a chance to do anything. There you go. Good. What was that noise? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, ceiling collapse. Oh, it's gonna happen again, isn't it? It's gonna happen again, isn't it? No? I thought there was someone else up there, but it's just a chair. Okay. What does that do? Uh, I'll tell you what we can do. We can go through there, right? And wait, let's do that. And uh, which one are you? Go like that and bring you in here. And use that to put you up. Oh, maybe we can... Maybe we can fling ourselves from that position if we need to. Go like... That. And let's, uh... Let's see how this works. So if we go like that... And like that... Oh, we can just portal our way into there, okay. I think in the original we couldn't do that or something. I don't know. I don't really remember these chambers that clearly. I'll meet you in the next chamber. I'm actually a little nervous. I mean, they're coming as a savior, but... Well, what does a survivor of this look like? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's not something you see in Portal. A moving person. So when you do... Oh, it really is like those creepypasta ROM hacks just seeing something unnatural, something that shouldn't be possible. Let's uh, keep our escape options open. Just scared the crap out of myself. So the word meeting is doing a lot of heavy lifting here. No, we're gonna need a crate. Yep, yeah, thank you. Uh, how do we launch ourselves up there? She tested me too. Who's she? Like, are we still dealing with GLaDOS here? And... Yep. Yep. That's my puzzle-solving noise, in case you haven't figured it out by now. Those stairs appearing just sounded like... <laughs> footsteps rapidly approaching. Okay, but what if I just do it anyway? Oh, it doesn't even matter now? Okay, well, now I've got this thing. Oh, maybe... Maybe our mystery benefactor is actually sabotaging these puzzles. But I escaped. Okay, so what we've got to do is essentially follow this thing out without dying. Oh wait, no, I did that wrong. Okay, so we need to have one over there. It, it always uh, screwed me up uh, trying to remember which portal is which. So yellow is in here, so we're not right-clicking. Take this with me just in case anyways. And put you over there. And within seconds, something should be with you. There we are. 
Now let's just read what was written. But I escaped. You will too. Okay. Well, I'll believe it when I see it, to be honest. Some of these things are just, like, randomly protruding. This thing is coming with me, since, well, we did have the ability to go get it. Aww. Alright, well, I won't put you through that. What horrors await? Ah, uh, <laughs> that first time I rented this, I remember having so much fun in this room. I, even though I had basically completed the puzzle, I would just keep like coming back and like flinging myself over and over. Right, you there? You there? I I really can't describe. Way to go, but this way. You're leading me right into something. Something's gonna appear right in front of me. Okay, uh, portal here. And we can do that. We can't portal underneath this chair. We're just straight up not where we were before. Hang on, wait. I'm actually gonna reload and autosave because I have a feeling I missed seeing something right there because I was playing with portals. Which is, you know, the whole point of portal. Oh, you're all... You're all suddenly closing. Leaving me once again in darkness. On to what we just learned. It, it's almost like we're... Receiving, like, visions from the fall of this place. Neurotoxin, she says, and the sounds of, like, dozens of people choking. Okay, so what does opening you do? Probably opens just one of those. I see, it's a timed puzzlerino. Okay, so let's wait for that to cease. Okay, in the time I've been waiting for this to cease, I could have just, like, done it. Um, okay, so... Through there. Open you. And then boop. And then boop. And there you go. But yeah, as I was saying before, I, I really can't express how novel and unique this game felt in 2007. I mean, there really had been, like, nothing else like it before. Such a unique mechanic with such good graphics and so fun to play. Do I just jump on top of you and hope for the best since it- okay, okay. I thought there was some kind of glitch. Normally these things go up and down on their own. I suppose the last one didn't. Here we are. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't like this. I didn't like the way you guys sounded before, but now you're so much worse. All right, we need to knock you guys on your side or get you out of the way. Uh, of course, there's no, uh, of course, there's no barrier here to dissolve you in. Get rid of these eyes as well. Somehow this makes it seem so much more real. Look at your eyes! Hang on, wait. Uh, you've got, like, purple eyes. Oh, they're, I see. They're actually untextured. I have no idea if that's intentional or not. Um, tell you what. 
Tell you what, I have an idea. Oh, uh, I was hoping I could maybe help this guy get some kind of revenge, but it looks like we'll have to do it. Yep. Wow, it looks like a lot of people had trouble with this. Oops, that almost backfired on me! Okay. These guys are where it gets a little bit more tricky. Is it just me or is your angle of attack a little bit wider? I'm not sure. I don't remember you guys being this sensitive. Oh, look, three, four, five bodies in here. I remember this room being like one of the first hints that there's something more to this. She killed a lot of them. She killed all of them. All but you and I. Okay, well, some of them clearly met their end by turret rather than gas, but yeah, these guys, they seem like they were trying to hide. I, I just remember finding these hidden rooms and being so fascinated because it was almost like I was peeking behind the curtain, like seeing something the game didn't want me to see. And it was such a validation after, like, just the subtle creepiness up until that point. It definitely helped that this game sort of masquerades as a comedy. Okay, so we're gonna have to drop this on you because we can't get in there ourselves. There we go. Did that portal cast? It did. Alright, drop another one on... ooh. Over here. Okay, well, seeing this was a lot easier than reading you. That makes me wonder what you're writing this in. Now, how are we going to address the problem of you guys? Loud. Now, this will be easier if we can grab a cube to use as a shield. Yep. Yep. This is why we bring the cube. Yep. There we are. Okay, I think we're most of the way through this now. I think that actually, I mean, there's a lot of other noises going on, but I think that actually is the song that would always play over the radio, just slowed down and distorted. I don't think their bullets can eliminate each other. I love that just moment of like, okay, I got it, now panic after you take down a turret. I always found these to be one of the most fun parts of the game. Nope. Yep. Imagine the Homer Simpson moment if it had fallen through that portal and landed next to me upright facing me. What are you looking at? Anybody up here? I've been forgetting to check these windows. <laughs> Although it looks like they would have had some trouble if there had been anyone standing there. All right, Mr. Cube. Although we know now that we've really got to be on the lookout for triggers. They don't always do what you expect. Yep! There you Although that was very much in the base game. Remember, this base game did do a bit of trolling. Yep. Didn't like that sound. Okay, now what do we do about you? I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to use a shield. There you go. Just sleep. 
Okay, I'm not going to take you through the barrier. You deserve better after all that. You know, we've been fairly glitch-free for a while. I'm kind of surprised it didn't pull something in that chamber. The whole game had this vibe of being off-kilter in a way that didn't come to the forefront until the very end. I wonder if it's not going to do something similar with this premise. For example, it seems that the weighted companion cube is now, well, now a product of our benefactor rather than our host. Okay, uh, how do we do this? Still no one watching. Good. Actually, I wonder if the person watching us wasn't maybe the one that we saw up in the window? If so, he's actually had access to us the entire time. Telling us he'd meet us and then doing not that, which, why? I'm real worried that we're going to see something in the glass below, but I can't really look down right now. Oh, no, wait, how... Okay, so this, I'm just remembering, is one of the most uh, infamous scenes in the game. How are they going to remix this? And more importantly, how are they going to remix uh, the ending of this sequence? That's what I'd like to know. If I just leave you right here, uh, that should actually prevent me from getting hit, but I think we still need you for later. Should be safe now. Let's go. Uh, now it begins. So, okay, I think we had to place one here and one here. These things always explode right when I need them. I, I love how this also sort of doubles as a let's play of like Portal itself at long last. Anyway, you're gonna do that and do. Good morning, Adam. I'm convinced at this point that what we're seeing during these glitches are flashbacks to the final day. Oh, this is the chamber from before, only uh, minus the acid pool. Fully lit, almost feels like sunlight. Maybe, oh, maybe that glow is meant to interact with the keyboard. Reminder that today begins the launch of GLaDOS. Yeah, that's gonna go about as well as Skynet. Oh no, I spawned inside the cube. Uh, we're one in a way we have never been one with anyone before, but uh, I feel like we only just met. Alright, let's continue getting rid of these cameras and figuring out what it is we need to do. Uh, we need to open each of these, and that's going to mean getting these bouncy balls to the correct places. Let's just figure out where we need to get this. Okay. Over to there. Uh, which we can actually do using the cube. Yep. Yeah, this can go wrong. There we are. There's something... See, I wonder if I am... Well, I'm not, Adam. We're clearly still using the shell model. Please report to GLaDOS chamber immediately. But only the smallest snippets, and... Always brought back up to here. Okay, now what about you? We need the cube to open you, or rather, to open one of you. Is it still going to be over here? Yes. Can I get the cube on top of the other one? That's the question. Because I have the ability to move out of the way. Yeah, we can. So we need something on the opposite wall, 
And we're just gonna have to stand off to the side and let it do its thing. There we go. Gonna have to wait a little bit longer now. There you go, but you're gonna bounce back because the doors are still closed. You've got a long way to travel. There we go. Uh, this part is a little bit nerve-wracking. You're gonna blow up before you get here, right? Yeah. There we are. Oh my god. Oh my god. I... What do I do? Oh, she's flooding the chamber. Uh, maybe the... Maybe the message to report to the chamber was sent out by her, or maybe it was the rest of the staff in a panic after realizing what was going on. In either case, we need to get that cube back. Now, before I get going down these platforms, I will of course want to check in this little chamber down here, and not hastily record it a week later. There we go. All this happening in real time right now. Oh my. Actually, all of this actually looks AI generated. Like, I mean, that looks like a dog facing the camera. That and that both sort of look like cats jumping up, but it's completely whacked them out. Giving us the vague shapes, but not actually, not actually the fundamentals of what makes those things what they are. And AI images are always really weird to me because our brain almost has to work in reverse to figure out what they are. The recognition is there, but it's uncanny. Meanwhile, a computer puts the image together, but doesn't have the recognition. And that one is just straight up unnerving. Oh, that one's staring into my soul. Let's just walk right on through that. I get the feeling walking through there <laughs> that it's not just a portal through the wall, but a portal to another world, a darker one. Uh, man, I had forgotten <laughs> until I saw it right there that, you know, that's not like a that's not like a creepypasta mob thing. GLaDOS really did look that weirdly organic and monstrous. Actually, you know, I'm, I picked up on this, like, the first time I played it, but, you know, she does actually look like an upside-down, like, bound woman hanging from the ceiling. It's just that illusion that makes her, I guess, torment obvious, even when it shouldn't be possible. But here, it seems, is where we part ways. We actually haven't been told to do this, but I guess we have to still. There we go. I'm honestly surprised that went off with no fanfare, unless it's about to punish me. Seems fairly straightforward. Could always pull a sneaky and have that just go to just the wrong place. Now, how do we get to you? Answer probably lies through here. It was always when you got into the guts of the place that you realized that, like, something more was going on here. Huh. It looks humanoid, but more like an iron sculpture or something. Or some kind of torturous suit. Can I maybe interact with that radio, actually? And not except to hear the same thing I've been hearing. Can't interact with you at all. You 
You know what? I've been trying to imagine what that reminded me of. And now that I have a moment free of other sounds to really listen to it, it sort of reminds me of the sound of the musician's violin echoing through the forest and dark wood. And that actually almost seems to be daylight coming through. Oh, <laughs> bright spaces actually stand out so much given the darkness of this mod. I don't think this is what I'm supposed to do, but can I perhaps make it this way? Yep. 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 That almost didn't work out. Well, that almost doesn't feel like it's what you're supposed to do, but I guess it worked. Anyway, you to there. And mm, now what? Oh, I can use this. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated and more flingy. Uh. Can we jump down there? We can. Will it be enough momentum? Well, not like that it won't. Okay, so instead if we go to there, we can do that. No! And don't fling ourselves, because that'll fling us into the pool. We can do that. Over here, yeah, I gathered, but I'm kind of working on it still. And now, if that thing is below us, we should have enough momentum to do this. Yep. Still no... Don't activate anything, please. You don't have to activate anything. Oh, it's this room. Okay. And this is gonna close behind us, leaving us trapped. Okay, so we need to utilize, we need to utilize this thing in order to eliminate you. Good. Bye, I'd forgotten you can see me through the portal as well. Okay, get him, please. Thank you. Let's render this place sort of safe if we can. And that's you. And just the one more, but you're a little more complicated. You're kind of up above everything and have a much wider field of view than I anticipated. Uh, okay, how do we go about this? I can maybe jump and bump that. Oh, I see. But that's tough to do. I've got to time this right where I got to know where you're facing at the right time. Okay, you and you, fire. Eh, maybe we wait for it to go through and then do it. We will have some time, eh, but it's easier said than done. There we go. All right, and boom. And now that's moving, but we still have you to contend with. Uh, so how do we go about that? Maybe that's tall enough, maybe just. Uh, there we are, we just need to adjust our aim a little bit. Should be you down! Just try not to shoot me on your way back. And now we can start doing this and drop down to below. You gonna fire? Okay. Now we can jump down to there and just make it. Uh, Valve and your Positions where it doesn't look like you're going to make it, and then you do. That does that, which starts a timer. But a timer for what? I'm not sure. Oh, uh, does that just open the door again? Oh, I see. You're angled upwards, so we can drop down onto there, and that'll launch us over and across the gap. Okay. Okay, so we'll do that. Do that, right? Okay. Place this on there, this down here, and whoop! <laughs> that was one of those real, like, hope I make it moments. So we're gonna grab you, bring you back across the gap. Um, I do not trust leaving you freely physicsing on this thing. Okay, now we're gonna want to carry you out of here, but in order to do that, we're gonna have to open this thing up again. So, ah, uh, I hate waiting. 
Okay, so now that's ready, we can open that and take you out of here and claim our prize. Thank you very much. Now we just place you here and we go here. Just launch ourselves into the metal ceiling, bonk. And now we can get out. You know what? Actually, you know what I just remembered? I never actually completed that room as a kid. I think I went in there, saw all those turrets and all these buttons and all that stuff, and I went, nope, screw that, and I put in a cheat and skipped it. Uh, so this is basically me completing Portal for the first time, I suppose. That's like the one puzzle I never actually finished. And uh, now, how are we going about this? Well, we'll start with you. Oh, actually, that means I've never seen this part before either, I suppose. At this point, I wouldn't even know if something is doing creepypasta-esque shenanigans. Sure is dark down there. Okay, I'm fairly certain that probably wasn't in the base game. Alright, but we can launch ourselves down. There's writing here. You can escape here. Well, I guess not anymore. All right, we are going to have to launch ourselves. That much is clear. And we're gonna have to be fast if we don't wanna be sent into the toxic sludge below. So let's launch and yep. yep. Make sure to only use the one key. Yeah, oh, right. <sighs> Okay, how we, how do we do this? I gotta I, I need time to parse this. Blue, yellow, blue. Yep. Blue, yellow. And we made it. It all worked out in the end. Don't go to chamber. IG. I g <laughs> so okay, so I I realize now that it says don't go to chamber 19. What I read it as was a casual, don't go to chamber, I guess. All right. Nobody tells me what to do. Also, how did you get up here? Do you have a portal gun of your own? And also, just how long has it actually been? You should not be here. Well, it's a good thing you had redundant messages, should I actually ignore your first piece of advice. Then again, the fact that you made it here suggests that I can probably do the same. Okay, so we need you to go into you. How do? So, first instinct is to do this, but that's probably not quite right, right? So maybe we have to lower these somehow. We can just kind of cheat our way over here. And go like that, almost kill ourselves in the process. She's going to kill you. Well, at this rate, I'm gonna do that myself. So you got nothing to worry about. Oh, I see. Okay, I don't know what I did. Where even is my other portal? I literally lucked into that. Did I... Oh, did I have to place it there at a certain point in the... I, I literally don't know what I did. I was just screwing around. Okay, well, that's moving now, and I'm going to have to wait a really long time, because... Okay. Actually, perhaps not. Maybe, maybe I can actually cut it off right here. Thank you very much. Uh, go back. Well, not a ton of say in the matter at this moment. There we go. <laughs> uh, now just where is it that we're going? Stop. I have no intention of doing so. And yep. Now we may have to jump this. I don't think we can straddle the line, can we? No, we sort of can. Yep. Sharp turn. And here we are. <laughs> uh... 
I was just about to say this is a little more unnerving without dialogue, but there was just a little bit. Uh, and now's a bad time to remember I don't remember how to do this. Uh, there is a way. I just can't quite remember what it was. Um, so we are going to be slowly lowered into the flames. And we need to launch ourselves, but how we actually do that, I do not recall. Ow. Okay, maybe if we place a portal somewhere over there and yep. And okay, we actually were supposed to do it the way it doesn't look like would work. I guess we just had to get ourselves into some portal. Huh. Well, we're up here now. The part where the guts become more the game than the test chambers. Ah. Man, imagine having this thing for urbex. Decommission turrets. And not a camera in sight, which means we're totally unobserved. Uh. Imagine if one of these times we looked into the portal and there was someone else standing beside us. Not there when we whip around. Okay, well that makes things easy. Still come through this way just in case. Uh, we can launch ourselves this way, I suppose, if we can get the momentum. Question is, how are we going to go about doing that? Actually, we don't need to because we can just portal onto that opposite wall. Never mind. Yeah. No one in here, but the lights are on, I suppose. Then again, I'm starting to get the impression that these round objects actually lead straight to the surface, and that's daylight. Look, I'm seeing a hole in that tube up here. So maybe we can get up there somehow, or over to there. Okay, so we've got to launch ourselves off of that. Uh, this is all real rickety. So what I've realized is we put a portal here, right? We put a portal here, and maybe as we're flying out, we put one on there, but then that would be too much momentum. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. I mean, from that height, maybe I can just jump it. It's not that... I mean, it looks pretty far, but perspective-wise, we look at it from this way, it's pretty close to that wall, so maybe we can just do that. All right, yeah, these elements, I think, are here to make you overthink it. Like being able to put portals on those ramps. I wonder if there's not maybe things we can access down below there. Can we get over here somehow? So there is a corpse here. All of this suggests that, I mean, they're not decomposed at all. Well, most of them. That all this happened not too long ago. Now that or the AC is preserving their bodies and look. Oh, wait. I think this is one of the test chambers from earlier, but... But that's a new body. Or No, no, it's not a new body. It's just fallen down. Huh. Are you all right? How did you escape? Stay there. I'm going to come and get you. Oh my god. Oh no. 
Oh, no, no, no. We're right back down here. Only... Only now with the double portal guns, so that helps. That... Whatever that voice was went straight to my spine. That is the definition of an unnerving... Well, I don't get to use this word a lot, but a murmur. Okay, uh... Yep. Please don't come down while in use. Yep. Oh, we're at the we're at the bottom of the elevator shaft now. Actually, what I believe our benefactor intended from the start. Uh, we can't place anything on that, but we can on this. Yep. Now this is video game world. Pistons that seemingly serve no purpose. Uh, Alright, let's have a look at all these elements and figure out what we're supposed to be doing here. Uh, these move up and down. Need to figure out a way up here. Uh, our portals aren't going to do as much good here. Okay, let's just use these to climb up then. Ow, 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 ow! And get one right there and get under there and climb right up into it, right? At least I think so. Yep. Ah, yes. Objects have no depth when you're working with portals. And then we just use this thing to ride our way out of here. Yep. There we go. Even get a little boost. Uh. Hmm. I don't like the darkness of that place, but I think we're just going to have to deal with it. Yeah. The tube that transports the cubes. Can we make the jump? We can just barely. How do I escape? Is that an older message from you, or do you really not know, or are you just as insane as I seem to be going? I have to wonder if we're the only human survivors, which you do at least appear to be human if you're not just a ghost. Well, maybe... maybe you're seeing some of the same visions I am? Okay, we've probably got to get onto that stairwell, and I see how we can do it. And yep. Can you guys piss in a little faster? The other guys were... Yep, you're faster. Yep. Just gotta make sure we don't time this wrong. Yep. 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 Where, where am I? Oh, I'm on top of a piston. Uh, jump between them. Oh, that was real disorienting, being moved in the dark without being able to tell why. Alright, uh... Well, we can launch like that. But would it not maybe be better just to go into there? Maybe there's something to see. Yep. Then again, which way's the which way's the exploration path and which way's the progression path? The thing that always haunts me. Yep. Uh, I guess there's nothing here, just a red herring. And a creepy door, all in shadow. Well, now that we're here... You know, this thing prevents fall damage, but I don't see how it prevents us from being splattered against metal beams at 100 miles an hour. Let's get through here. Come on. Are you guys moving? I'm not gonna take the chance. 
I'd rather teleport on top of a corpse, thank you. She blocked the exit. I want you to go home. Why, 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 etc. Uh, oh no. It's like my childhood kerplunk nightmares come to life. Uh, where else can we see? Anywhere portalable inside there? See places portable up here. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's just try not to get crushed by any of this. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This game never fails to give me stomach problems. Is there anything off in the dark over here? I just have to check. Uh, well, there's a little hint of a test chamber up there, but I don't think we're going to be able to portal to anything. Is that... I, I can't tell if that's still glass or if it's just an open thing to the acid below or whatever that stuff is supposed to be. We can get onto you with a portalable surface. Where's the nearest portalable surface? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Are we just gonna have to jump for it again? This never feels like it's actually gonna work. Certainly gotta time it right. Leaps of faith seem all the more appealing when you don't have a choice. I don't know if these are all the hideouts of you, or well, if there weren't more of you in the beginning. Either way, a place like this certainly wouldn't have a very large stock of food and water. Is it time for the final memory? Chat log number 621. Adam. I just looked at the morality core and it's still very corrupt. Joshua. We're aware, but GLaDOS's launch is today. There's no turning back now. Are you sure it's a good idea? Of course. What's the worst that can happen? The most infamous words in science. You know what I'm realizing? Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't even a corrupted version of Portal. This is just Portal taken a bit more seriously. You're not firing. Please don't start. You, however, will. And this is not sufficient cover. Come on. Nope, nope, nope! Die. Thank you for joining me, Barrel! I didn't realize you guys moved around so much after you were down. Why are you not actually failing? One of you, uh... <laughs> Did you get trapped in here? Oh, through here. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, so some of you are malfunctioning, but that doesn't mean that you won't still scare the bejesus out of me. This whole place is in total disarray, and it kind of makes me wonder if this stuff wasn't abandoned and forgotten within the facility even before everything that happened. Well, let's uh, get on top of that tube. Yep. A uh, ladder completely shot, but uh, maybe we can make a jump. Oh, 
no, are we... Wait, no. No, I... I've been here already, haven't I? No. I was hoping you would scout the way for me, but I guess you, if, if anyone, has earned a rest. Is there maybe stuff we can see here, actually? Wait, because that's angled and portalable. Yep. <sighs> Just make it. But once again, what's progress and what's what's exploration? You don't always get a chance to go back. That's the annoying thing. Definitely feels like exploration. Can we light you with a portal? Yeah, not really. But there's, there's something there. I can't quite make it out. I'm at max brightness, and you know, that doesn't really help all that much. I'm hearing a really strange sound that suddenly just stops. All this feels like a red carpet. I think it's coming from in here. Are you there? I am. What's going on with these computers? Uh, can I interact at all? Can I interact? There's no keyboard. I guess we just move on. They're trying unsuccessfully to get our attention now. What is that thing? No, seriously, I have no recollection of this thing existing! You know what? It just came back to me. You were a thing for like one segment. Okay, how can I get you to hit the other thing? In this place, I can't really. Fire! There we go. And through here, and good day, sir. Still shooting to this day, huh? Uh, we're gonna need your help once more, I think. Howdy, bud, can you just do this one last job for me, please? There we are. Actually, I'll, uh, I'll keep your number ready in case we need you again. And can we get through to here? That definitely looks like something. Now, once again, it has been many years since I've actually played Portal, so I have no idea how much of this is creepypasta and how much of this is, well, just Portal being creepy. Oh, there is actually a portable surface down there. Hmm. Okay, so let's do that. We'll remember to bring the cube with us, just in case. Hmm. Might be easier said than done. Weird spot to load. Careful, don't slide down. You and me, Cube, we're doing this together. You're the real weighted companion, Cube. Uh, through this, great. Through this, great. Great. Uh, it's a good thing whatever this is isn't that toxic sludge that we're finding elsewhere. Uh, and it's slippery, too. And I can't jump in it with some kind of thick muck. Call me? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
Uh, oh no, I should have brought the cube. I should have brought the cube. Okay, you get down. Out of here, you. Uh, I love these think fast moments in games. Uh, fire on me. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Get through. Uh, it's hard to back up and see what I'm doing. Uh, okay, next up is there. Out with you. Nope, nope, no! Nope. Uh, good job, good job, good job at holding things. All right, we don't actually need it. Um, we just have to be aware of who can see who. From where. It certainly would help. Okay, now... How about we do some changing places? You and you. There you go. Nice little dance. Uh, now what about you? You are. Okay, it doesn't work if you land on your feet. I think you're down, which just leaves the two. Oh, okay, you're right there. But you're beneath me. I mean, you are beneath me, but like in a literal sense. Yep. There you go, get down there. Probably don't even need to get the rest of these, I just feel like it. And down with the... Nope! Down with the rest of them. I still intend on taking you with me. Uh, actually, <laughs> you're not as acrobatic as I, so maybe that won't work out. How do we do this? Uh, there. Here. And then... Boop. And... Boop. And boop, and nope. Okay. Actually, tell you what, maybe all I really need is to get in line of sight of the top of this thing. So if I go like that, like that, if I just place you right there, I don't even need to jump out, because I can just jump out and use you to gain the momentum. So, yep. And, yep. And nope, and yep. Uh, but maybe I could still use that. All right. Just need to keep tossing blue portals until something works out. And never mind, we made it anyway. Oh god! I didn't even. That didn't even occur to me that that could happen. Okay, so prior to this moment, my brain had not considered spontaneous turrets as a threat. But, I don't know, maybe we'll just have to keep that in our back pocket from now on. Just, you know, something that exists and we all have to live with. Uh, right. We need to launch ourselves upwards, probably. Yep. And there we are. And this will make it a little bit easier. Uh, this whole final confrontation. See, the thing about Portal is that, you know, by the time it came around, video game tropes were very well established. And it felt like it was breaking them in such an innovative way where it was almost like you were looking at the source code. I mean, playing the last parts of Portal was almost like popping in the Game Shark. Eh, ask your parents about Game Shark. On the fog, we can just barely make out the silhouettes that this is a conference room that looks like a projector on the table. These are the offices. This is where a lot of it happened. This place is huge. Here's the final confrontation. You look a little different from how I remember. What, 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 nope, 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 we don't need you. Ow. One minute and six seconds, what happens in one minute and four seconds? Uh, nope. Yeah, you have to actually fall over, it works better if you fall over. Uh, we can always get ourselves higher up if need be. 
Down you go. Am I trying to survive or am I trying to do something? There's clearly a button over here, but... Nope, nope, nope. Uh, no stairs, fine. I can't see though, I can't see. Uh. What did that do? What did that do? Okay, it opened that thing, but how does it help me? I can toss you guys in there, but I don't need to toss you in there. No? Okay, so some of you went in. But now what? I mean, if I'm just in this corner, what'll happen? Those images all look AI-generated, like she's trying to process what the world before was like. Well, the timer's run down and nothing's happened. Although I still... Oh, it's you. Okay. Well, let's uh, figure out what's level with you. Probably right above there. No, you have to actually shoot at me. Come on. Oh, wait, no. Because we got to get the angle right as well. If you're going to fire through there directly at her, it needs to be at a right angle to you. So right here... Follow it in. Unless you just swing around too much, that could always happen. I'll tell you what, how about we just place a portal directly under you? That would probably work even better. Uh, we'll still make it right angles to make it easier, but... It's gonna miss just slightly. But the concept is sound, I think. Yep. Yep, you're your own worst enemy. Unless you decide this is going to be a phased battle, and now you're going to go back to turrets. That's what you're doing, isn't it? Oh, wait. I can actually put that right there. I can put that right there so that you guys will fall in. Not going to lie, this battle is kind of unnerving without music. Or, you know, dialogue. Or anything to indicate that you're even aware that this is happening. I mean, what if I try cremating the bodies? Whoop. I actually, you guys actually will fall through the portals. Maybe that's what I'm meant to be doing. Come on. Uh, oh, 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 I see. This thing dropped into the shadows. All right. All right. Um, uh, you're going to start, you're going to start giving me problems now, really. Okay. Uh, that's already there. In you go. Please go in, thank you. What's happening to me? Am I being dragged by our friend, or is this something else altogether? Were they even ever really real? We're on the surface. It's you! Alright. Let's get out of here. That was incredible. You actually turned out to be real and benevolent in the end. Somehow... This corrupted mod actually had a happier ending than actual Portal, but it's not over yet. All systems offline. Scanning local personnel. Total, two.
Maybe this is part of it. I honestly don't know at this point. And then again, cake ride would be such a portal joke, especially denying me a so-called cake ride. Yep, these are <laughs> these are certainly far too uh, animated to be an actual error message. Oh, and now <laughs> our our main menu screen changes to reflect our escape. Uh, but being able to see that real night sky, see the real trees in the background. It's like taking a breath of fresh air after being in that place for so long. You start to forget that reality exists. Uh, but that was error, and that was so cool. It was a lot more of its own thing than I was expecting. I mean, I was expecting, like, well, basically a regular portal but just with a couple of creepy things here and there. But it really is a mod all its own. Really, essentially, like I came to believe, it's not even just its own corruption of Portal, because what happens basically are the events of actual Portal. It's just kind of packaged it into a more overtly horror setting. I mean, it's still the story of this rogue AI eliminating her creators and then continuing to test without even really knowing why. It's the story of two survivors living within the walls, one of them trying to help the other, but never really directly communicating. Showing how terrifying GLaDOS is when you strip away the comedic dialogue. And that image at the end, the most interesting thing about her in this are the images playing on those displays during the final boss fight. I mean, they make it seem like she is trying to parse reality through that incomplete lens of what she's been fed. Seeing the same images we are, but not really understanding the connotation of those things. If there's any big change, it's that GLaDOS is more like a real AI than the one in Portal. It's nostalgic, it reminded me of my own experiences with this game, and it reminded me of video game creepypastas as well as, you know, those old NES ROM hacks and such being brought into a more modern package. I mean, I say modern, this game is 16 years old at this point, which, wow, I'm gonna go cry. Oh my god, is Portal a retro game now? I mean, <laughs> you know what, I'm just realizing... At the time I got the PS2, when I thought it was so, like, modern and top of the line, Super Mario Brothers was as old as this game is now. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.